Now, Tetris has long been touted as a video game that just can't be beaten because it just goes on and on. <gasps> oh, my God! Oh. Well, 13-year-old American oh Willis Gibson has technically yes. proven that wrong. He beat the original oh Nintendo God. version of the game by reaching such a high level that the coding froze that left the program unable to generate any more falling blocks. As a mother, I would just say step away from the screen, go outside, get some fresh air. Beating Tetris is not a life goal. Speaking of fresh air, let's get a look at the weather. Sore fist! I'm, I'm, I'm honestly at a loss for words. What were you possibly hoping to accomplish with this? This was, oh my God, this is so stupid. Look, lady, what do you think? It's like a waste of time and it's completely freaking irrelevant to the fact that the, fact, the, 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 the kid did something no one's ever been able to do in like, what, 40 years? And to some people, to most people, that's like an accomplishment. It's like, dude, you beat Tetris? Like, I didn't even know that was possible. Most people regarded it as completely impossible and he did it at 13. He, he 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 basically played like a computer, which is incredible. And and I want you to really stop and think about it for a second. You might think that's not a big deal. You might think that doesn't mean anything. But here you are, sitting all the way in Australia, wherever the hell you are, commenting, reporting on the news of this kid all the way from fucking Oklahoma or whatever, who did it. Why would you be talking about it? Why would they give you the story and have you report on it if it wasn't like a big deal? That is an accomplishment. It doesn't, it, it, like, it doesn't matter if you think it's like a life goal or nothing. Telling the kid go outside. You, do you not realize that, that because he beat Tetris and now he's gonna be doing all these tours and, and going on all these different platforms. People are gonna invite him on their podcast now. He's gonna go on different news stations now. He, this kid could actually make a living off of being the person who beat the one person in human history who beat Tetris and then you're just gonna sit here and belittle him and, and, and shit on him and then and tell him well you know I was his mother I would tell him go outside nobody gives a fuck what you would tell him nobody cares you you old oh Jesus Christ and it's the, the, the smugness in her face it was just like the look and, and like just that that condescending demeanor where do you understand somebody's hobby or not where do you agree with it? Where do you think it's a waste or not? It's irrelevant to the fact that they're, they're that to a lot of people. It means something. It's cool. It's interesting. It's like it's like wow, look what this kid just did. He just beat Tetris. Like holy crap, no one's ever done it before. Literally no one. And then and then to make matters worse, if you would have did like even an inkling of reporting, you would have known that this kid's dad died. Like two or three weeks ago. His dad died like two or three weeks ago. And when people started questioning him about his victory, the first thing he says, I just want to dedicate it to my dad, man. I did this incredible thing in memory of you. I beat the game that no one was able to beat for like 40 years for you, dad. That's awesome. And then here's this, this like, this archaic viewpoint that like, oh, I'm gonna tell my child to go outside. Different hobbies are different hobbies, man. People become millionaires when playing video games. Right? Like, we're not, this isn't like the 80s or whatever. Like, this is, people can literally make livings off of doing stuff like this. And if he wanted, if he really wanted to buckle his shoes down and have somebody support him in this corner, which I hope his mom is, they, they could literally turn that into, like, a brand or a franchise. And he could be set off his life for simply doing something that no one has ever done. <laughs> now people are going to be trying to do it. And they're probably not going to be able to because, guess, keep in mind, it's been over 40 years. And he'll be known as the one guy who did it. And when the kid did it, he was just happy. He was excited. He was elated. He was so proud of himself. And then you have to take your raggedy, decrepit ass, get on live TV, and belittle the kid for being Tetris. Like, not even acknowledging the fact that, uh, I don't know, this irritates me. I'm a little under the weather right now. I'm a little sick. I wanted to come in with more rage. I wanted to come in this angry as hell. I, I want, I'm, Ooh, I wanted to just, I wanted to come in here, but I, I, I got a headache and my sinus is messing with me, so I, I just, I can't, I can't muster the energy to do it. But this is trash. 
This is mad trash, and she should be utterly ashamed herself. Obviously, I'm not saying like cancel the lady or let her get fired. And we're not going to extremes like that. But she should really feel bad. She should apologize, man. Like what that kid did was incredible, and and, and everybody else in the world is high fiving them and congratulating them, giving them praise, all over social media and stuff. And you, you had to be the one person to be an asshole to a child. What would you? What was your goal? I don't know. It's your boy, Sophus. Oh, Hydra.